today sutta is uh, sutta 228 w from the uh, book of five Anguttara Nikaya to numerical discourses mm. because there are these five dangers for a family that prepares their meal late in the day. What five? Guests who are visiting are not served on time. The deities that receive oblations are not served on time. Ascetics and Brahmins who eat once a day and refrain from eating at night, abstaining from meals outside the proper time, are not served on time. Slaves, workers and servants grimace when they do their work. Much of a poorly timed meal is not nutritious. These are the five dangers of a family that prepares their meal late in the day. Hmm. Interesting, huh? So this is the dangers and then there's the benefit. Yeah. Uh, because there are these five benefits for a family that prepares their meal at a proper time. What five? Guests who are visiting are served on time. The deities that receive oblations are served on time. Ascetics and Brahmins who eat once a day and refrain from eating at night, abstaining from meals outside the proper time, are served on time. Slaves, workers and servants do their work without grimacing. Much of a properly timed meal is nutritious. These are the five benefits for a family that prepares their meal at the proper time. Mm. So, <laughs> do you prepare, prepare your meal late in the day? Actually, in today's context, it can be a bit tricky, huh? Yeah. I guess here it refers to the to the to lunch. Yeah. So um, yeah. yeah. Sometimes when I visit uh, lay people's family uh, home for visits or do house blessings or something, then uh, Sometimes the meal can be quite late. Huh? <laughs> yeah. The if you look at the sutta, right? The they would they would usually prepare the meal quite early. Yeah. Uh, and um, and when they finish preparing it, they will get someone to go and inform the Buddha that the meal is ready, that they can come whenever they are uh, it. Uh, at, at their convenience. So part of it is perhaps because of the travel time. Yeah, they don't have handphone. <laughs> so when they finish, they send someone to go out of the village to inform the Buddha. Then after that, the Buddha come. So it may take one or two hours. Yeah. So if they finish cooking at twelve, then by the time they inform the Buddha, one o'clock. By the Buddha come time, the Buddha come two o'clock. <laughs> Yeah, so they would usually finish preparing in the morning. Yeah. So, mm, yeah, the much of a poorly timed meal is not very nutritious. So to eat at a proper time. Yeah. This reminds me of uh, small kids. Ah, uh. yeah, nice. I, I, Often here from parents class, sometimes the parents say that the kids well, take forever to eat their meal. You know why they take forever to eat their meal? Yeah, because they don't eat at the proper time meal. <laughs> after they have the breakfast late and then after that lunch, no appetite. And then we'll be have to eat. So they eat their uh, lunch halfway, then they say, oh, I'm full already. So before dinner, they are hungry. So they eat a snack. So by the time it's dinner time, they are full as well. They don't want to eat. Then before they sleep, they are hungry. Then they want supper. <laughs> yeah. So this is the problem. <laughs> uh, mm. 
poorly timed nil. And if it's poorly timed, then hard for absorption. Uh. Yeah. And oftentimes you end up filling your stomach with a lot of junk. <laughs> yeah. Last time at, at home, uh, we rarely have snacks. Yeah, we rarely have snacks. Yeah, our main meal is very, um, how do I put it, very complete. And we never have uh, problems finishing our main meal. <laughs> because hungry. <laughs> In between the meal, nothing to eat. <laughs> yeah, but ne never let us be hungry. Eh? Yeah. Um, yeah. There was one time, one of the Chinese New Year, the the last Chinese New Year I had with my family before I ordained. Yeah, that Chinese New Year, as as per all Chinese New Year, my mom will ask like, yeah, some more, some more, you know. Actually, every meal she will ask like, some more, some more. Then that that particular meal, I said, oh, enough already. Yeah, without having a second round, you know. then my mom's like, "Whoa, this year why ah? <laughs> first time, first time for 20, 28 years. Okay, maybe not twenty eight years because I only start speaking at three, so twenty five years for so past hum all these years, never hear hear him say that he's full. This year he says he's full. <laughs> <So far. clears throat> Okay, that's all we have for today for the Sutta reading. Any questions you all have? Do you have any questions? Let me see, everybody okay? Marcel, maybe we can pull a question from Slido. <clears throat> Oh, this question is from Jolin. Uh, there is latency of seeds and latency of afflictions. How do we differentiate the difference between the two? Do they come from the same karma? Latency. Latency means uh, slowing down. Is this what you mean by latency, uh, Jolin? It's like a potential energy, something. Oh, okay. I see. Uh, so, okay, so uh, afflictions, we are referring to defilements, yeah? So, potential of seeds, potential of uh, afflictions. Uh, <laughs> the reason why I, I had to clarify latency because uh, the word latency in com signs mean very different things. Huh? <laughs> yeah. So uh, if we look at it as potential, so how do we differentiate the difference between the two? Do they come from the same karma? Uh, so first of all, seeds are seeds are uh, what we call the the Seeds are basically the potential, right? In a way, uh, the Buddha used use the description of seeds uh, to describe <clears throat> um, what happens after we act. When we act through body, speech, and mind, yeah, then uh, it leaves an imprint in our mind. Yeah, the Buddha used the uh, analogy, the metaphor of seeds. So this is what we usually call karma, karma, right? You, you act. Karma means action. So you act through body, speech, and mind. Then it leaves an imprint. And that imprint becomes latent, becomes dormant. Yeah? Um, dormant with the potential to uh, produce results. Huh? So uh, how do we differentiate the difference between the two? Defilements. 
uh, defilements is due to uh, defilements arise in us. Uh, we can say it arises in us due to the seeds also. Yeah. So this is one way to differentiate between them. So from the seeds, then arise the the, the afflictions. Yeah. And then from afflictions we act. Then as we act, then we plant the seeds again. <laughs> then the whole cycle. Yeah. So huo ye ku. Yeah, huo ye ku. Uh, who would be the afflictions? Yeah. Uh, more more correctly is uh, bewilderment. So we get confused because of the deformments. Yeah. And then we act. Yeah. Act. Then as then after in between there's a, the seeds. Uh, then from the seeds you get the results which is suffering. So do they come from the same karma? Uh, so yes and no huh? Yeah. So if you look at it from the whole um, picture, uh, basically um, everything planted through karma, right? Yeah. Um, so it depends on what seeds, lah. Because here if we just say seeds, right? So seeds can be wholesome seeds, can be unwholesome seeds also. Yeah. Whereas afflictions is always unwholesome. Oh. Um, one, one key thing that perhaps I want to highlight about this, um, this particular area on karma is that karma doesn't mean predetermination. Huh? Karma doesn't mean that kind of deterministic, fatalistic uh, fate. Yeah. Uh, he is fated to be like that. Uh, 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 there are many people who interpret the Buddha's teaching on karma as fit. Oh, uh, it's not. Um, rather, it's like, so if we use the analogy of seeds, when you see a tree, then you can infer that there must have been a seed. But just because there's a seed, you cannot be sure when there will be a tree. Yeah. Uh, so the when can be indeterminate. As long as there's no condition, the seed just stay there, nothing happens. Yeah. But some suggest that since there's a seed, there will definitely be a seed, a tree at some point in time, which is also true. But as long as you have no condition, no seed, ma, <laughs> uh, no tree. Ma. Uh, well, so it's not a deterministic, that means like um, like fit. Yeah. So like in this life, in this life, on the 9th of on the 29th of September 2021, you're not fated to be here. <coughs> Agree? Uh, not fated. This morning, uh, of course, maybe you set an alarm every day, right? Uh, but this morning you can still decide. Yeah, you can still decide whether to be here or not to be here. Uh, if if somehow you cannot decide, then you can say it's fated. <clears throat> we say that the, the fact that you are here is due to various conditions. Yeah. Uh, if the conditions are strong enough, then you will be here. If they are potent enough, then you will end up here. Uh, so important thing to note, um, one, it's not a fit kind of concept yeah so it means that you can still change things so it's about um, taking uh, responsibility for your actions or taking responsibility for our actions yeah, to know that we can do something about things yeah. so today is a uh, another new day yeah every day is a new day Every day is a chance for us to decide how we want to spend our day, how we want to live our life. Mm. Yeah. You know, Microsoft, they have this tagline, where do you want to go today? <laughs> yeah, a long time ago, the tagline is from a long time ago, 20 years back. Yeah. So we, should, we can have a tagline also, what do you want to do today? <laughs> Do you want to, to 
uh, do wholesome actions, yeah, beneficial actions, or do you want to do harmful actions, unwholesome actions? It's purely up to us. And depending on what we do, then we plant the seeds for future happiness or suffering. Yeah. Your palms together. Yen Xiao San Zhang Zhu Fan Nao. Yen Xiao San Zhang Zhu Fan Nao. Yen De Zhi Hui Zhen Ming Liao. Yen De Zhi Hui Zhen Ming Liao. Pu Yen Zhui Zhang Xi Xiao Chu. Pu Yen Zhui Zhang Xi Xiao Chu. Shi Shi Chang Xing Pu Sa Dao. Shi Shi Chang Xing Pu Sa Dao. Amitofo. Amitofo. Till we meet again, may be guided and protected by the Buddha, Dharma and the Sangha. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. And as always, Guai Guai. Have a, have a wholesome day ahead. Take care, stay safe. Thank you, Sufu.